Well, hello there. Here's a short tutorial on how to use the multi-material feature there is in Keyshot 7 Pro to work more efficiently with your materials and especially material variations and such. A multi-material lets you store different materials within the same part. So you can have like a plastic appearance, you can have a metal appearance, all within the same material. And you can also do different versions of the same kind of plastic and have all the textures linked like having the same bomb maps, the same labels and such, uh, but just changing the color, for example, between the different instances. So without further ado, let's take a look at it. I want to make some different materials uh, of this bottom part of this inhaler thingy that I quickly modeled it up. So um, let's go into the material options by double clicking on the part and then turning it into a multi-material by hitting the button up here like so and then we have a list um, right now we just have one instance which is this white plastic that we have and uh, if we take a quick look in the material graph you can see that uh, it's just a plastic with some uh, rough uh, with a map in the roughness to add a bit of variance uh, across this body here so when you have Enable the multi-material, there are three ways you can add new instances to this part. Uh, the first one is the, this one, which creates a, a totally new material. You can change the type and everything. And if we look at in the material graph, we can see that it's not linked in any way to the, our original material. If we delete that one, then there is this option here to uh, duplicate the material. And again, if we look in the material graph, we can see that we now have two instances of the same material. So if we take uh, the new one here and change the color to uh, a red, for example, you can see that we now have a white and a red version. But if uh, I want to make this uh, roughness map more visible, for example, Let's do like this, so it becomes very visible here. Um, nothing happens with this material because they are not linked in any way. You can do the linking in the graph here, like so. Now you can see that it's uh, more visible here as well on the white version. But if you know that you, uh, if you know from the beginning that you want to do this, that you want the map to be linked, you can. Uh, use this option here, duplicate the material and link texture. Uh, let's just call this one red from the beginning. And now we can change the color to red. And when we open up the material graph, you can see that they are in fact linked together with the same maps. So this applies to all the maps that you have applied. Um, let me just delete that one again. And if we go ahead and add a camouflage texture to uh, the diffuse, like this one, like some kind of army inhaler. Uh, it could be something like this. And then if we, uh, we, you can also use this list inside the material graph so you don't have to go back and forth. If I take this one, call it camo green, I can do this um, duplicate material and link textures. And then we get this new instance. And uh, let's call this one camo blue. Okay, so on this connection between the uh, original camouflage texture and our new camo blue material, I uh, will add in a color adjust by right clicking on the connection and go to utilities and go to color adjust. And in this color adjust note, I can uh, either slide this hue or I can add in like a colorize color. I actually think I will go with the with the huge lighter here and see if I can get something in the blue range. Could be something like this, maybe some more saturation, well, not that much, and take down the values. Yeah, this one is cool. So now we have a blue camo and we have a green camo. And uh, if I, for some reason, want to change this uh, pattern, I can do it in this uh, camouflage node. 
for example, scaling should be smaller or anything like that. And because it's linked to both uh, the green and the blue, um, yeah, the, the size will change in both of them. So this is a very cool way to work with different uh, instances of the same material. Uh, you can link and unlink any textures and maps, whatever you want. And in that way, create new materials, new uh, studies, while keeping the old materials saved in the same graph. When you have these parts with multi-material uh, enabled, you can uh, set up different renderings, uh, combining these different multi-materials using the studios. So by hitting U on the keyboard or hitting the button up here, studios, you get this list. And um, I have this other part here, which I already made a multi-material and there's a, a dark or a black version and there's a gold version. So let's say we want to uh, do like a, uh, green camo version plus the uh, dark top as we see here not dull dark okay so i want to use my three quarter camera this is uh, that's the one that i already used uh, the environment not gonna care about that and then here in multi-material i'm gonna enable it and um, our material right now called white is our camo um, material so i'm just gonna change the name to camo for clarity. Cool. So Claro <laughs> camo. I want the green one. You can see here. And for the top one, I want the dark one. Cool. Let's do another instance. That is green and the gold top. So what I need to change is this this top to gold. And let's let's uh, make two other versions as well. So we have Blue plus dark. Let's just uh, create it while we add it and blue plus gold. So here blue, blue plus dark. I want the dark top and for the camo, I want the camo blue. And for the blue plus gold, I want the blue camo and the gold top. Yeah. So now you have these four studios with the different materials uh, combined together so it's a really cool way to work with different versions and variations of a color and your materials i hope this uh, tutorial gave you an insight in how you can use multi materials to work more efficiently in keyshot and uh, subscribe if you want to see more like this and until next time take care <laughs>